الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علی نبی نہ محمد وعلى علی وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله question was asked I have a question regarding general advice as this is something I've come to learn about myself and I'm finding it hard to solve and it is affecting me negatively and Allah knows best what my situation is and it is the issue of extreme of extremely low self-confidence which is affecting my general choices I make and the bad habits I do in regards to looking after myself physically and mentally but more importantly my seeking of knowledge I get thoughts that are extremely negative and it's like I already in my head have told myself that I can't do it and I'm going to fail before I have even tried to the point physically I cannot tell myself you can do it my tongue does not allow those words to come out of my mouth no matter what voice inside my head is telling me to say uh, what the voice inside my head is telling me to say uh, if you have any advice including practical advice it would be much appreciated barakallah feekum wa feekum barakallah first and foremost Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabil kareem الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن العمل وهو العزيز الغفور. Allah تبارك وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم and he is the one who created life and death to test which one of you would do the best uh, deeds. وهو 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 عزيز الغفور and he is the Almighty. the all forgiven so acknowledging recognizing knowing that you have a lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you who is going to test you as he tests all of his creation to see which one of them is best in deeds which one of them is more most sincere as the salaf used to say akhlasa wa aswaba those who are most sincere in their deeds and those who uh, are most correct wa akhlasa this is ikhlas this is sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa aswaba this is following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is uh, that thabat ala sunnah so knowing that our religion in its also it requires patience these are very important things to recall at all times as far as your particular situation and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of our affairs easy and bless us all to make wise guided decisions forgive us all guide us all protect us all preserve us all raise us all up in good and forgive us of all of our sins and bless us with the confidence to go forward and do positive i mean Ya Rabbil Alameen It sounds as though no doubt you have issues with self-confidence and I don't know if you were born Muslim or not but it is something that has probably been with you for a, lo- a long period of your life that it's something you've struggled with I'm assuming and with that being the case having a very positive outlook that your lord can heal you that your lord sees you that your lord tabarak wa ta'ala created you and provides for you and sustains you and knows your situation better than you know yourself and can help and assist you As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Fi dasta'anta fasta'in billah." If you seek help, seek it from Allah. So the first piece of advice that I can offer is going back to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and seeking help and refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your personal issues. 
and with your lack of self-confidence. And to increase your dua in this regard and also memorize and learn those dua. Go to Husnul Muslim and learn those supplications that are beneficial for stress and beneficial for dealing with these issues of healing because it's a healing and you have to force yourself to be confident and force yourself and know that you can achieve your goals know that you can uh, be positive you have to know that you have to understand that to not let the shaitan and the shayateen from mankind and jinn to distract you and destroy you because it's you. This is your life. And you have to take it back. And you have to be, you have to be positive. Because being negative is a trait of weak iman. Not having confidence in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all get negative, and we all get weak, and we all get soft. As iman yazib bi ta'a wa yanqus bi masiyah, that iman, our faith, it increases with obedience to Allah, and it decreases with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, a part of this advice I would say is practice more, more prayer, more supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing charity. You only feel good when you do good. It's just simply that simple. When you do something positive, you feel good. That's the, the fitrah, that's the uh, amumin, that's what takes place. So the more you do good, you don't feel, you know, so increase your good. That's probably the third piece of advice I can offer. Increase your good. The fourth thing is husn suhba, is having good company, good positive company to encourage you and help you. Don't be around negative people. Negative Negativity attracts negativity. So you need someone who is positive in your life to help you, to encourage you, to help build you. But the most of the strength, it comes from yourself with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That it's internal. That you're not dependent on others. But we're human. We're social creatures. We need that. We build one another. And we can tear one another down. So most of us do require that extra that outside influence. But ultimately, it's coming from within. So you have to change your perspective and see your self-worth, that you have worth. It's not being arrogant. And it's not being ignorant. But you have to see your self-worth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you as one of His beautiful creation that has value and can contribute value to this world. So you have to start thinking positive. You have to listen to positive. And I also advise you to listen to positive lectures of the Muslims. More specifically, Ahlul Sunnah. And that you stay away from negative speech. Because negative speech, it just it, it only breeds more negativity. So if you are involved in people tearing other people's honor down and you, you, you have people like that around you, that's a clear indication you need to get out of that environment because that's just negative. That's just going to bring more negativity to you. Reading the Quran, understanding the Quran, busying yourself with good, that this is also going to help you be positive. And aside from this, as I've said before, and I advise the brothers and the sisters to have positive physical outlets. So exercise, you really don't lose if you are doing it halal exercise and you are uh, building yourself because you feel better when you're healthy, plain and simple. When you're eating good food, I'm a firm believer that what you eat you know, in the law, la yakbalil la yakbalil Verily, Allah is good, and He only accepts good. So, eating good, good sustenance is good for your body. It's good for your mind. Getting sleep, exercise, having positive activities, even if it's going for a walk in a safe place, even if it's 
swimming in a place that's good for you as a Muslim woman. Uh, even if it's martial arts in an, um, uh, a, a, mus a, a woman's environment. Whatever the case may be, you need a physical outlet and you'll feel better about yourself. And there's no doubt that when people often they are in shape, they feel, you know, that's another, an additional help for, for their, your mental. When you feel that you are strong as a man for us as men, or you feel that at least you're, you're healthy, or, you know, some people are addicted to running. I don't say get addicted, but they, you know, they, they can't live without it. That, that's a good feeling. For me, I have to have the physical, I have to have the outdoors. I like to train in the gym. I love when I'm back in America, and hopefully I will be able to do that soon, I love to ride mountain bikes. Where I'm from, it's, it's open for that. And I love to hike. And I love to, I'm going to try snowboarding too. You'll see, inshallah. But anyhow, you need your physical outlets. You need those things. This is going to help build you. Those kind of things help you to build yourself, build your self-esteem. And we ask Allah the Almighty to make all of our affairs easy and help us to build ourselves and help us to feel good about ourselves and help us to do those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad